Hey guys, it's Mr. 10,000 here with my little girl. And we've got another really fun kids workout video for you. This one is just 15 minutes long. Now, because it's aimed at kids, there is no need to smash yourself with the workout. In fact, all we want to get you doing is moving and having fun. Now, all you're going to need is a little bit of clear space, just like what we have here, and some comfortable clothes. So let's get straight into it. Now it's just a few moments until we start the 15 minute workout that's full of different exercises designed or chosen by my little girl. And our first exercise for our warm up is marching, which is really nice and easy. It's just like big walking with big steps. We really want to warm up our whole body too, so let's get our arms into it. And you can lift your knees high or lift straight legs high. You can march in a circle or you can take steps side to side or just march on the spot. Keep it simple though and keep it fun. You don't have to work like a soldier, it's, it's just a warm up. That's done, so let's try something a little bit faster. Let's get into jogging. Now jogging is a little bit harder than marching, but it's still a warm up, so there's no need to wipe ourselves out. Now you can jog on the spot or you can move around, and if you have the space you can jog in a circle or backwards and forwards or from side to side. And if you find it a little bit hard, then just take smaller jogging steps or slower steps or both. Just keep moving and try your best to keep it up for this 30 second block. Okay, we've done jogging for our legs, so now let's focus a warm up on our arms with big arm circles. And these are really easy. We just have to make big circles with our arms. It's not harder than that. Let's try to make them as big as we can, being careful not to hit anything. And now we're halfway through our 30 second block, so let's make little arm circles. With your arms as high as your shoulders, make small little circles. And you can make them as fast as you like, just keep your arms up. That'll help get them warm and ready for the rest of the workout. Okay, time for balancing like a flamingo standing on one leg. This is like an active rest, so we can take a break from our exercises, but at the same time we're still training our balance while we rest. Okay, we're about halfway through our 30 second block now, so let's change feet. And if you're finding the balance a little bit tricky, it can help to stare at something still, because if it doesn't move, then it'll help you not to move. Okay, this exercise is for our legs, and that's jumping. Now we know jumping, jumping is really simple, so we can pretty much jump however we like. We can do little bounces or great big high jumps. And the smaller our jumps, the easier they will be. And bigger jumps will be harder, so let's just do whatever jumping we can handle for this 30 second block. The crab crawl exercise is for your arms and core. You want to sit with your hands and feet on the floor, then lift your hips up. If you can crawl around like that without dropping your hips, then you're doing the crab crawl, just like a crab. And you can move around quite a bit with this one, if you have the space. And if you don't have hips or space, you can just crawl around in a circle like us. Try your best to keep your hips up for the full 30 second block. We're almost at the next exercise. Okay, next up we have arm swings, which are for working your arms, of course. And these are really easy and a lot like the bird wing exercise, except we're swinging our arms to the front and to the back. And at the top of each swing, when our hands are at the highest, let's hold our hands there for just a few seconds, then bring them down and swing again on the other side. It's a bit like marching really big with your arms. The lizard run is for your legs, and it's just like normal running, but we want to get our knees up higher, just the same way that some lizards run on hot sand. Now this gets harder the faster we run and the higher we get our knees up, and it gets easier when we run slower with our knees lower. And we just got to choose a lizard running pace that we can keep doing for the full 30 second block. And now we have 30 seconds of bear crawl. And bear crawl is another really fun exercise for our arms and legs and core. It's really just crawling around like a bear without putting our knees down. Now, if you want to make this harder, then you can just crawl around like a really fast bear. 
And if you want to make it easier, then you can crawl on your knees. Mix it up however you like and just have fun. Okay, great. Keep it up. Let's get into the next exercise. And this one's for your arms. It's bird wings. And it's, it's really easy. You just need to lift your arms out to the side and fly. Now, if you find it too easy, because it really is quite an easy exercise, just fly faster. But now, as you fly faster, just be careful not to hit anything. Take care and have fun. And now for this 30 second block, we're going to be doing frog jumps for our legs. And we want to crouch all the way down, touch the ground with our hands and then jump up from there, just like a real frog. Now we already find this exercise quite hard, but if you, if you want to make it harder, if you want to make it harder than it already is, then you just got to jump higher and faster. And whether you want to make it harder or easier, just do your best to keep it up for this 30 second block. Lying leg ups are for your core, but you're going to feel them working your legs just a little bit as well. Let's start by lying down with our legs straight out. We can put our hands wherever it helps to anchor us or keep us steady. Then you can try lifting and lowering both feet up together or just one foot at a time, left, right, left, right, really whichever version you like best. Just have fun and do your best to keep it up for this 30 second block. The giraffe exercise is for our arms and it's easy. It's, it's really, really easy. All we need to do is hold our hands up high above our heads as high as we can like a tall giraffe. Then we just move our hands side to side as we walk around. So keep your hands high, almost like a stretch. All okay? See? Easy. Let's work and stretch our legs with side leg raises. Now we want to stand in place without stepping or moving around and then we'll lift one foot with a straight leg straight out to the side. Now lower the foot back down with a straight leg and then repeat. Now we're at the halfway point of our 30 second block so let's change feet. If we lift our leg as high as it'll go it's going to feel as much like a stretch as it is an exercise. This beetle crawl is a really fun exercise for our core. All we need to do is lie back on the ground, then reach up as high as we can with our arms and legs. Then we're going to pretend to walk along the ceiling, just like a beetle would. Try your best to keep your hands and legs as high as you can as you do the beetle crawl, and be careful not to let them drop down until we get to the next exercise. Okay, now we got bird wings again. So <laughs> you know how to do this. All we're gonna do is fly around like a bird. Really try to get your arms nice and high and drive them down with a bit of power. If you want it to be a little bit more challenging, you can try walking or even jogging while you're flying. Just do your best to keep it up for the whole 30 second block. Now for front leg raises and these work and stretch our legs, kind of like side leg raises. It's really just lifting one foot up to the front with a straight leg, then lower it back down with a straight leg again, and then repeat until we're halfway through the 30 second block. Okay, we're halfway through now, so let's change legs. And let's try to remember that we should try to do the exercise in the same place without changing where we are. And let's try not to make it a kick because it's, it's much more like a very careful swing. And now for our next exercise for our core, and that's windmills. Now we're gonna start by standing with our feet about as wide as our shoulders and our arms out wide. Then reach down carefully with a straight arm and a straight back to touch your opposite foot. Keep your back straight and your arms out wide as you return to the start. Now this is gonna be a little bit tricky, so be really careful not to hit anything as you work through the windmills exercise. Now the next exercise is for your arms and that's the seal clap and it's a very easy exercise. You just want to lift your straight arms up above your head to clap or clap out in front of you or both, whichever you like. And if you want to make it more challenging, you can clap faster, but just be careful not to clap harder because that's probably going to hurt your hands. 
And if you like, you can add jogging to it. Just be careful not to hit anything. Okay, moving on to our legs. We've got 30 seconds of kangaroo jumps. And these are really easy standing jumps. You don't need to squat too low. Just jump up from where you're standing, just like a kangaroo. If you want more of a challenge, try jumping as high as you can for this 30 second block. If you find that too hard, don't worry. Just keep your jumps a little lower and a little slower. But whatever you do, don't stop. We've only got maybe 10 seconds left and then we're on to the next activity. Okay, great, that one's done. So now we're on to our next exercise, which is for our core. This one's called the Superman. Now you're gonna have to find a comfortable way to lie down on your tummy and stretch your arms and legs out. And then lift your arms and legs together and hold, hold that position for the 30 second block. If you find that a bit tricky, just take a few short breaks in between, but it's really not that long to go, so just do your best. Okay, and now for the helicopter, which is a really fun exercise for your arms. Just be careful with how much fun you have with this because there's quite a bit of spinning involved. In fact, I wouldn't call it spinning. If you, if you see us there on screen, we're just turning because if you spin too fast, you're going to feel dizzy. And if you feel dizzy, you might fall over. So just take care, have fun and turn carefully. And now it's time to work our legs. We're gonna work our legs with rabbit jumps. And you'll find rabbit jumps just a little bit harder than kangaroo jumps because you'll need to try, just at least try to crouch down far enough to touch your knees and jump from there, just like a rabbit. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left for this activity. So keep it up, keep it fun. And then we'll do the next exercise. Hey, it's another 30 seconds of the crab crawl. Now, if you remember, this is an exercise for your arms and legs. So really do your best to keep your hips up for the full 30 second block. Okay, now you're doing great. We're about halfway through this block. So keep it up. We're almost at the next exercise. Okay, and now we're up for just 30 seconds of punches. And while punches are for your arms, they use your arms, a good punch will use your whole body. A good punch will come from your feet, through your legs, hips, core, shoulders, and then your arms. And in that way, a good punch uses your whole body. But of course, just keep it fun. You can punch however you like. Just be careful not to punch anything and definitely don't punch anyone. Just keep it fun. Okay, wow, well, we must have been doing something good because we're being rewarded with frog jumps again. Now, if you remember, frog jumps are for our legs. And what we need to do is reach down and touch the ground before we jump. Kind of just like a real frog. Now, we've got just a few minutes to go before we complete the whole routine. So keep it up. You're doing great. Okay, now we're on to our last exercise before our cool down exercises. And we're doing bear crawls, so we're gonna work our whole body. That's our arms, core, and legs. Do your best to keep your knees up. And if you can, put some speed into your bear crawl and become a really fast bear. You've done really well to make it this far into the routine. So don't ease off yet, you're almost done. But until then, keep on giving your best. Time for another 30 second block of arm circles. And again, arm circles aren't complicated. They're really easy. It's just making big circles with your arms. And when we're halfway through, just tighten up those circles, make them really small, arms out as wide as they can go, keep them high and make some little arm circles. We're going to use the knees to elbows exercise to work our legs and core. Let's start with our hands at our head and elbows pointing down. Then we just lift our knee up to our opposite elbow, then lower it back down and repeat. Left, right, left, right. Just keep it up at a pace that you can maintain. 
and let's do our best not to bend our backs too much. Let's try to keep our backs straight and instead try to lift the knee higher rather than leaning over and dropping our elbows. Okay, it's the very last 30 second block and we're gonna do our very last cool down exercise, which is marching. Now, you've already done this before, so hey, maybe you're already an expert with taking great big steps and getting your arms into it. Now, you can march with knees up high or straight legs up high, however you like. You can march in a circle, you can take steps side to side, or you can just march on the spot like we are. Do your best to keep up a good pace until the end. Okay, we did it. That's the entire 15 minute workout routine done. And it's so good that you made it all the way to the end. And I hope that because of all of your movement and activity, all of the work you got through with your arms and legs and core, well, because of that, I hope you're feeling great. And now if you have the energy and you'd like to do some more fun exercises, well, you could always just follow this video again, or you can go check out our other fitness videos that we've got on this channel. We've made sure to make something for everyone. So you should be able to find something that's just right for you.